All right, class, let's take a look at question number three. We're asked to determine how many millimeters is 54 yards. I think 54 yards is still more than half the size of a football field. It's you know, quite a distance. You want to know how many millimeters is that? Well, let's, uh, let's take a look at a uh, typical uh, meter stick here. Uh, if you look at the distance between any two of these numbers, say from 11 to 12, that distance right there, just about the width of my finger, is not a millimeter, that's a centimeter. The 10 little lines in between the 11 and the 12 are tenths of centimeters, which happen to be called millimeters. If we take a look at our metric ladder from some time ago, centi and milli are one uh, ladder rung apart, which means that they uh, differ by a factor of 10. But since we're going down, we're going to smaller units. So a millimeter is 10 times smaller than a centimeter. We may want to remember that 10 millimeters, 10 of these small little lines, 10 millimeters between each one centimeter. All right. So just getting back to the original observation, 54 yards, half football field. How many of these little, little tiny millimeters would measure that same distance. Right. What we need here is some conversion factors. Okay. What I'm going to do is I am going to, now I noticed that I need to switch over to the metric system from non-metric system. And the one bit of information here, and it's right on this worksheet, is that an inch is 2.54 centimeters. So that gets me from metric system to non-metric, or English system of measure. So just as a strategy here, if I go from yards to inches, then I could go inches to centimeters, and from centimeters I could go to millimeters. All right, so how do I get from yards to inches? Well, if you're familiar with these measurements, there are, well, there's three feet in a yard and there's 12 inches in a foot, so there's got to be 36 inches in a yard. So let's just write that down. All right. One yard equals 36 inches. Okay. One inch equals 2.54 centimeters. And like we said already, 10 uh, millimeters is the same as one centimeter. So these are gonna be our conversion factors. These guys right here. So that means I'm going to write this 54 yards down as a given, and then there's going to be three conversion factors set up properly following it, and then we could write down the equal sign and then get our answer. Right, that's our strategy. So 54 yards times a conversion factor. One of these conversion factors is going to be set up as a ratio as the next uh, component of our equation. Right. Now we are trying to cancel units at each step. If I have yards, I want to cancel yards. Now my strategy was to go from yards to inches, so I know that this conversion factor has to have yards and inches. Right. And if I set it up that way, then at this stage I could cancel yards out. Now I'll put the numbers in later. Let's analyze the units. All right, so at this stage I have inches in my equation, but I don't want inches. I want I want millimeters. All right, so I need to get rid of inches. So inches will be in the bottom. What was my strategy up here? Well, from inches I was going to switch over to the metric system and go to centimeters. All right, so at this stage of the game, if 
I set it up this way, my inches will cancel with inches and I'll be left with centimeters. All right. And then from centimeters, I was going to go to millimeters. That means I'm done. Right? I'm done uh, putting an equation together. And it's going to be set up with millimeters on top, centimeters on bottom, for the sole purpose of canceling the centimeter units. Yards canceled, got rid of those. Inches canceled, got rid of those. Centimeters canceled, got rid of those. I've left with millimeters. Yay! That's what I wanted. So that means it's time for me to put in my equal sign. There'll be a certain number of millimeters that come out of this equation. And let's just start plugging in our conversion numbers. How many inches in a yard? Well, that's right there. Right? There's three feet in a yard and 12 inches in a foot, so that means there's 36 inches in every yard. And how many inches in a centimeter or how many centimeters in an inch? Well, the numbers are right here. 2.54 centimeters make one inch. And as I said earlier, millimeters to centimeters, right? remember millimeters to centimeters is just one jump. That means a factor of 10. 10 millimeters is one centimeter. There we go. That is our analysis of the units involved in this uh, conversion. And you get from yards to millimeters, and I did it in three steps. Right? It's possible, you know, if you're clever or have a different set of conversions, you know, these aren't the only conversion factors in the world. You might be able to whittle this down to maybe just two steps, or maybe even one. If you could combine, if you can't find a conversion between yards to millimeters, you could do it in one step, conceivably. Right? Um, we did it in three steps. Okay, so how do I get the number that goes out in front of my millimeters? What is my answer, in other words? Well, this is where you can go ahead and, you know, mentally at least, erase all of the units in your equation. So that the only thing you're looking at are the numbers. All right. This looks like a fraction times a fraction times a fraction times times a fraction. I can put it over one and make a fraction out of it. Absolutely. All right. When I multiply fractions together, I multiply all the numerators. So it's going to be 54 times 36 times 2.54 times 10. All over 1 times 1 times 1 times 1, which is just 1. And that would be my answer in millimeters. Now, don't leave it like that. Go ahead and um, carry out the multiplication up top and then divide by 1, which, of course, you don't really have to do because it's not going to change anything. So anyway, let's go ahead and say 54 multiplied by 36 multiplied by 2.54 multiplied by 10. Now, remember... We're asking ourselves, how many millimeters from, say, the uh, the goal line on a football field out beyond about midfield, just a little more than 50 yards, 54 yards? How many millimeters is that? Well, we're getting 49,377.6 millimeters as an answer. And that's quite a few, right? Which makes sense since millimeters are so small. Am I done? Well, if you haven't considered Sig Diggs, then we're not done. Sig Diggs have to be dealt with. You could never have an, uh, an answer that's more accurate in its measurement than the original given measurement. All right. How many sig digs in the 54 yards? Well, there's two sig digs there. Two sig digs. And what I asked you back in video number one of this bunch of videos was to write down a, a rule that, that I gave you regarding sig digs. That your answer will have as many sig digs as the given. So I got to go to two sig digs on this number. So that means I want to cut it off between the 9 and the 3. Well, the 3, I analyze and say, okay, that's 
uh, less than 5, so the 9 is going to round down. In other words, it's going to just stay the same. So it'll be a 4 and a 9. Now, what do I do with these other digits? I can't say that 49,000 millimeters rounds to 49 millimeters. That's ridiculous. I need to maintain place values. That means the 3, the 7, and the 7 have to be taken up with placeholding zeros. All right, so 49,377.6 rounds to 49,000 millimeters. All right, so that is the answer to question number 